I'm speaking to you today as a representative of the Transitional Justice Coordination Group of Afghanistan. Four decades of conflict characterized by horrific violations of international humanitarian law have left millions of civilians as victims. In the last 10 years of war, more than 70,000 Afghans have been killed or injured, according to UN figure. Individuals like Habib Wali, whose story you can read in the exhibition of memory boxes in this building, who lost his mother, mother and two sisters, in a massive track bomb attack in Kabul, which killed 15 and injured 283 people. Habib says three years later, nothing was done to investigate the massacre. One of the reasons why we, the Afghans, have remained trapped in an unbroken cycle of 40 years of conflict is deeply rooted in the culture of impunity. In my country, almost all conflict actors operate in total disregard of local and international norms and they continue to firmly believe that nobody will ever hold them accountable. When in December and January of this year, the victims were provided with an opportunity to make a presentation to the ICC, they responded with a strong and unified message, calling on the court to investigate immediately or launch an investigation immediately. But without civil society, their views would not be heard. The court did almost no outreach. So, as soon as the long overdue authorization is granted, the court must dramatically increase outreach, including a presence in Afghanistan, and more closely with the victims' groups and the civil society and media. To the state parties' representative, Afghans expect consistency. This week, Many of you made a strong statement in support of justice being essential for a sustainable peace. We need similar strong statements in favor of the court investigation in Afghanistan. This is particularly true under the shadow of U.S. threats to the court. In addition, so many Afghans are terrified by recent developments. The Afghan government talking of unconditional peace offers and the U.S. is pushing for a quick deal according to its own timeline. This sends a clear warning to the Afghans that justice may be sacrificed again. Afghans want peace, but we have the experience of past deals that excluded justice and led to more violence. We cannot afford that for that to happen again. Only with victims' inclusion and participation can we hope to have a sustainable peace? Millions of Afghans betrayed by their government. We are relying on ICC and state parties to demonstrate that justice is not just a beautiful world. Thank you.